Say good afternoon. We're so happy you're here. We daily vlog. So if you enjoyed this video, make sure you come back every day. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> Guess what? What? Was announced today. Phantasmic is returning. On November 3rd. And we're not going to be there. If someone could just give us the flights, then we would go. And by give us the flights, I mean not like, like oh, here, I bought these tickets for you. No, I want, like, I want Thank it to be an, support, an event. I want, like, I want, like, walk on the tarmac to the jet, get on the jet, land an MCO, hop in a car, go to this... Yeah. Disney Springs, what am I talking about? Hollywood <laughs> Studios, see Mickey Mouse do his thing that we've missed for years. Years! And then and go back to the tarmac, right? go back on the jet, and come back. Because we are going to be there days later. Yeah. We are going on our Disney trip, so we, our, we won't we'll miss We'll be there it. 10 days later. Yeah, our trip, we'll be able to see it, it'll be great. Daddy's but, first time, Jamesy's first time. But, but we... But you, you own a jet company, <laughs> or you are a celebrity, yeah. And you want to see Mickey Mouse. It's just, you guys know us, and we'd be there. We've looked like five like, different ways. If, if it was any <laughs> other time, we, I, as it kept getting closer and closer, like it's it's getting too close where it's going to be Looney Tune to go. We legitimately so. found flights. We really thought it was going to be October 1st, and we legitimately found flights and like almost booked the DVC, and we had just to the be Peterses ready. ready to house us <laughs> just to be ready if it was. But now it's just too soon. It's... I feel like, like the only way we can go is if it's like outrageous. Like someone's like, hey, my cousin is uh, Sting and he's leaving <laughs> Chicago and he's actually going to uh, Orlando that night. So just meet him right. at O'Hare. I'm like, great. We hang out with Sting yeah. on an airplane? Yeah. Oh, gosh. <laughs> he looks sad. We're, we're so happy. It's yeah. like, oh, my it's gosh. I, we it, know. I feel like nature is recovering. Right. Yeah. That's really the last big thing we've been waiting for. If you're wondering how I'm doing without drinking Pepsi every day, it's not well. So we're gonna go not to Pepsi. well. No. Yeah. We've had pop. But you need a Pepsi. I'm even doing my chew thing. Have you ever noticed that on me? I chew my clothes. <laughs> this is Teddy's favorite toy. How did he get so big so fast? We haven't had Bluey on all day. So we're just we're just enjoying it right now. My anxiety is high today. I don't know what else to say. I just feel off. I feel like my mind is just racing. Um, and so we're gonna simplify. I I earlier I did have on my. Um, next right thing sweatshirt which is like our motto um with a lot of things but just really in life is just like taking on the next just doing the next right thing is all we can do right so i'm overwhelmed by a long to-do list um and just like unknowns i'm a planner um so we're gonna keep it simple we're gonna eat dinner and we're just going to be together right now before we decide what we want to prioritize. Um, yeah, I'm like overwhelmed that like the week is over. I'm overwhelmed. Um, there, we ha we've we'll probably talk a little bit more about it later. But um, we've had a, a, two of our loved ones pass away um, this week, so that's just heavy on my heart. Um, getting a new routine down with napping at home. Like, I think that those are like surface level things and then like, when things like that happen, I let things like boil under the surface. The, my best quality um, 
is I'm somebody who can't hold things in at all. Like how I'm feeling, even if I have a thought that I know isn't true, like I'll, I'll tell Peter, I'm like, I need to get this off my chest. I'm just somebody who I, I can't hold stuff in. And so whenever I have these anxious moments, I always have Peter and our team um, behind me because I can't hide it. And um, I think that's helpful for me um, because then we can find a solution. But that's just, that's reality of our daily, our daily vlog today. Peter is back with the food. We got Caesar salad and Jets pizza. So good, so good. We haven't had this in so long. Food is absolutely my love language in a way to help fill in up my cup. So. I'm very happy, I'm very grateful. I decided we're vlogging. When in doubt, a little, a little sneaky peek to get the party going. <laughs> That's a quote from Greece. I didn't actually like to say that. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. This will help fill up my fill up my cup literally and figuratively in my heart. Oh, Teddy knows what's coming. Reaction. <laughs> oh, he says, open it. Let there be pizza. <laughs> oh, yeah. It's nice to see you, Art. Hello, historic water tower place on the magnificent mile. I came out from putting James down. And it's silent. So I'm going to go find Sarah. But just in case, she is where I think she is. It's good to be home. What? What's going on over here? Are you playing with your brother? I took a quick bathroom break and this is what I come out to. Wow. Are you cozy with your brother? Good morning. Good afternoon. I think it's morning. We're so happy you're here. We daily vlog. So if you like this video, come back tomorrow. I actually think this is a two-parter. So sorry for the the double intros. Goodness. Sometimes you end your Friday Eve at work, needing to run over to the Jewel to get some salt and vinegar chips for your best friend. So that's what I'm doing. I'm running over to the Jewel pick up some salt and vinegar chips. Both kids are sleeping right now. We have a night of kind of prepping for our big weekend. We have a big day tomorrow. It's gonna to start on the suburbs. And then it's gonna end in Michigan, if we haven't told you that, so. And then that'll turn into meeting one of our favorite people in the whole world on Saturday, Phil Rosenthal, into brunch with friends on Sunday. We have a very, I was telling somebody at work and they were like, you know you should sleep this weekend. And I was like, yeah, but sleep isn't always in the Burkhardt's playbook. And as our kids have been acting, they agree. Nap time has been an adventure because sleeping isn't always in the playbook. And I hope James isn't mad at me, but I'm going to his favorite place in all the land during his nap. Oh, pumpkins, we will carve one of you soon. I like Teddy's face during that. Sometimes you need salt and vinegar, right? So what do you get? Salt and vinegar. I've been wearing the same outfit for over 24 hours. Oh, gross. Just kidding. That happens. We're going to get in the Peloton. We're going to get refreshed. We're going to watch Casey Neistat. Why are you such a big kid? I talked to Carolyn on the phone. Ah. Did we say Jamesy has awoken from his nap. Look at this hairdo. How did this happen? So I know Peter mentioned on the walk um, that we had a little struggle with nap time. I truly, I, I'm thinking back to the days where we would sign off on the vlog 2 a.m., <laughs> even later sometimes. And we just like, people would be like, how do you guys not sleep? And we'd also get comments being like, you're just preparing yourselves for parenthood. And I think that's so true. <laughs> um, 
I think now I'd love more sleep looking back to those days of staying up so late when I could have been asleep but you know what it's it's just a part of the ride we have basically a four-month sleep regression and a two-year-old sleep regression happening at the same time in our house I can't get over this hair on Jamesy I think his two-year molars are coming in and I think this child is like showing signs of teething and so we got big emotions and big developmental things going on um, and so sleep is just not our strong suit right now but we're getting through it with a whole lot of love it's just a moment right it's just a moment doesn't mean it's not really hard um, but you know, I've been able to fight. He's so happy. He's so happy. You know, you start to question yourself. What am I doing? <laughs> am I doing a good job? What What could I be doing better? Um, and again, I think I mentioned before, thankfully Peter and I are a really great team. And we are able to ground each other during these hard moments. But there, we're in it. We're in it. We are going through it right now. How's it going? <laughs> we are in Michael's getting the last piece of the boys' Halloween costumes. I don't know if I'm in focus car. or not. A car? The gems. We got his favorite car here. Oh, yeah. So I think we're going to see if that brand is still here. Yeah. I see Christmas. It smells like straight Christmas in here. I don't know if we've done much alluding to what the boys are going to do for Halloween. I just remembered. A couple of people on Instagram guessed it and I need to send them a little something. So I just thanks vlog for reminding me. Um, but yeah, we're making the last bit of it. Well, my friend Lauren is this weekend, so we have to get it. And we have a busy day tomorrow, so. We also need to think about what we want to do for Jamesy's birthday as far as like decorating. All fall decorations are 60% off. But yeah, we also could use a little fresh air. So this works out. 57, 56 out, so it's yeah, not bad. Yeah, it's nice. Wow. This is our hint. We and unexpected placemats. little placemats. I've had these in our Amazon cart for a long time. In a new car. Okay, we're home. We're going to play a little bit of catch-up tonight and probably going to like vlog a little bit more once the kids are asleep. Um, we have a busy day tomorrow. We have a busy weekend. Um... So this vlog is gonna kind of just be like, oh homie, let's get through some trying days together kind of vlog. Peter's doing bath time and I am finally getting our pumpkin patch vlog live and it is after 8 o'clock. He's a cute, clean kid. Hi, you look like Casper the Ghost. <laughs> One down, one to go. A spot in the closet? No. Where's the tree? Oh, I can Yay, you did it! Oh. I just want to go to bed, but we have a bunch of stuff to do. And Taylor Swift has a soundtrack coming out in nine minutes. All the names are there. Eight minutes. Well, we are driving to St. Where am I going tomorrow? St. Joe's tomorrow, Michigan. So. St. Joseph. Yeah. So we can listen to it. To call him Joe. <laughs> um. St. J. Mm -hmm. Chelsea and Kristen are awake right now. I think sure teachers. They are. They are, but it's Friday. Maybe I could they're just, taking the day yeah, off maybe, tomorrow. Maybe. I could totally see them doing that. Um, I'm hungry. <laughs> so am I. And that's what we get for eating at early dinner. I don't think we're going to show whatever we get done tonight. I think we're going to, at the end of this vlog, I'm going to put in the clips. James is like letting, like, I don't know, like how would you describe it? Like being more snuggly to Teddy? Like, not that he hasn't shown interest in him, but like now he's like, oh, this, this thing is in my space. Do I hear Teddy? That was just like phantom cries. Um. That was weird because I heard it too. Yeah. Ghost. <laughs> um, 
So I'm gonna print some clips I've taken over the last couple of days. Um, I just feel like it's not just like, oh, this thing is alive. I also think like he has a connection to him. Yeah. He's been looking at him so sweetly. I'm like, yeah. this is- He was is... like pulling on his arm earlier when I had like Teddy on my lap and James like came up and like snuggled in between my knees. And he was like pulling on Teddy, like trying to get him close. So sweet. It's good to be home. It's good to be home. Listen to Taylor Swift's new album. Oh, he did. We know what our goals are. We know what we hope to accomplish. And believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions. <laughs>